It is Sunday, May 19th. I have so much to do. I've been a bit burnt out this month, which seems to be a cycle I've been going through. We'll have a couple months of being super motivated and getting all of the things done. And then having a month like this month where I'm just like, even just doing the minimum is a bit of a struggle. I actually even missed a, a week of uploading this month which I haven't done in forever but the crazy part is, is I've had videos ready to edit and upload since last month. I recorded nine videos last month so I had two whole videos that just needed to be edited for this month and I just couldn't get myself to sit down and edit them but I uploaded the next week and I should be uploading this week too. I still have one video pre-recorded then yesterday I recorded um, a few of this month's trading cards for Patreon. This month um, I had my patrons vote on what they would like me to paint and skulls won. So for the video I just recorded four of them. I did some bird skulls. But I think my favorite one that I'm really excited to paint is this one a little alligator or maybe it's a crocodile. I think it's an alligator. So that's been really fun. I actually added a couple slots to the tiers this morning. So now there are 15 slots of trading cards on my Patreon. Seven of them are available right now. I just did 12 sketches because I only have 10 people in that tier right now and I don't want to do a full 17 if I don't need to because then I'll just end up having a lot of extras and my extra pile is starting to get quite big. But right now I've just been kind of chilling a little bit watching a uh, Cave Town video and this morning I sent a couple messages and I've been keeping track of my giveaway on Instagram, writing down all the usernames of the people who've entered. I'll need to find a winner for that later. And then another person just reached out to me to send me some more paints which is crazy. <laughs> I don't know. It's been a, a happy and like nervous morning. Um, you guys know how, um, how anxious talking to people makes me. So uh, messaging people is always a little bit hard. I have a couple emails I need to respond to today too, which is probably my least favorite thing to do. I think I'm just going to work on all the stuff I need to get done like pretty slowly. Take it kind of easy. Trinity and I talked about video 
chatting yesterday, so hopefully I'll get some time to talk to her later too. That's my sister, by the way. I'm gonna go make lunch now, and then I will work on emails, I guess. morning it is uh, May 28th we're getting uh, towards the end of the month now sorry Millie is down there and I'm making sure he's not gonna get into something <laughs> he's just getting in uh, Xavier's kennel I headed out 
because we had uh, we had some tornado warnings and sirens going off and stuff over the weekend, um, which means my printer's on the ground right now. But on the plus side, I ordered the cabinet for my printer and it's supposed to be here either tomorrow or the next day. I just now finished doing my Japanese reviews on Wanikani, which is nice. Uh, I had let those pile up uh, the other day. I finally got to level 10 on that, which is like a huge milestone for me. I'm really happy about it. But since then, I had a hundred lessons added to my like lineup, and I haven't worked on those at all. And I kind of let my reviews pile up too. Took like a tiny break from doing my uh, Japanese review, but those are all cut up now. I just need to get started on the lessons. I like to break those up into a couple of chunks, so they'll probably take me a couple of days to get through. I'm also going to be ordering a textbook soon which is crazy. Um, I'm really excited to start learning some more uh, grammar besides just the basic stuff that I learned on Duolingo forever ago. But besides that, I also got a package from a lovely person named Tasha. She uh, reached out to me on Instagram and wanted to send me some paints after watching my palettes video here on YouTube. And uh, <laughs> can't believe she sent me so much. She sent me a couple, like four half pans. And I've added those into the metal palette. So this is like a full palette again. And then she sent me some really generous um, like dot cards. I, I don't really want to call it a dot card because they're so big. What are you doing? Millie's under my desk. But here, yeah, look at this. These are huge. I can't wait to swatch those and see how they look. I'm really excited. There's so many browns. And Millie just knocked over my trash. <laughs> um, hang on. You made a mess. No, don't knock it over again. Look at all this. Millie. <laughs> Why? Sorry about that. He is in a ornery mood today. He's getting into everything. I don't remember where I left off, but today I think I'm going to work on packing up the rest of the Patreon rewards. Yesterday, Bo and I worked on packing all of the sticker tier packages. He put all the stickers in the little um, glassine bags and I worked on like bundling everything. So those are all like bundled up. They just need all of their um, addresses and stamps and whatnot. Again, this month it's another biggest pack of packages I've ever done at once, which is crazy. Last month I think I did 13 and this month it is 24. So it's crazy. Oh yeah, I remember I was talking about the paints. These are huge. So I really can't wait to swatch those and use them. I think I might do a painting using just the paints that she sent me. Um, I do know some of these are from brands that use ox gall, so I'll have to remember not to buy those in the future if I like any of these colors enough to buy a full tube later on. That's one thing I want to go through my paints and do soon is mark which ones are vegan and which ones are not so i don't um buy them again in the future i know for the most part daniel smith paints are almost all vegan except for a few colors because of the pigments so i just need to keep an eye on that and then i think also holbein is vegan too that's also a question i got i feel like i've been talking for 500 years that's a question I got on Instagram the other day um, in a message. They were asking how, basically said that using only vegan art supplies is quite difficult and they're wondering how I handle that. And the thing is I've only started looking for vegan art supplies this year. So a lot of my art supplies aren't vegan because I've had them for longer. I don't buy art supplies very often. And a lot of my supplies have been given to me which I can't really control what is in them. So um, there's a lot of forms online that have lists of vegan art supplies and that's what I've been keeping an eye on like when I do need things. Like I recently bought some papers um, that were vegan and all the, I've switched also my sketchbook. Strathmore mixed media paper is vegan and then the 
Stonehenge Aqua Hot Press paper by Legion is vegan. Um, my Arches cold press watercolor paper is not vegan, so once I run out of that, I won't be buying it again, but I do have a huge pad, so it's gonna last quite a while. And that's the way it is with a lot of my art supplies. It's gonna take me a while to use them up before buying vegan alternatives. So as always, if you have recommendations, please let me know. <laughs> It'll definitely be helpful for me to have ones that are like well loved. <laughs> like if I know people enjoy them. I'm definitely rambling. Oh, I also forgot she sent me these paints too. I'll have to look up to see if they're also vegan like the, the Kuratake Gansai paints are. But they look a lot like those. It's these. I don't know if you can see that, but they look really nice. I'm going to try those out too. Hopefully they are vegan. Good morning, it is May 30th, Thursday. Today, the stuff from Ikea is supposed to be delivered, which is really exciting, but apparently that is on the truck, out for delivery today. Sorry about my hair, I don't, it's at a weird length. I need to quickly edit a video today and get that uploaded so I can post it tomorrow. Finally going to post the watercolor painting I did for uh, Nadia on Instagram for her birthday, like, two months ago, but I recorded the video for that. And then the next video after that will be this. I've been talking with someone about doing a sponsored um, series, which is supposed to be happening in June, but I haven't gotten a final answer yet, which is concerning. <laughs> so that might not happen. I'm gonna start out with my um, Japanese reviews and then I'll get right into editing that video. everything that I need to in here. 
I wanted to be able to put um, at least most of my shipping materials in this cabinet by my printer so everything was together and I didn't have it all in like a box that I had to like pull out every time I wanted to pack orders. I need to cut some more shipping labels but once I have those cut I'll probably put those here. This is extra like plastic sleeves from things I've bought. I usually use for the trading cards for patrons. Then I have my binder of all that stuff there. The string that I wrap around orders. This has the pink envelopes which I have more on the way. The glassine bags. Um, the postcards I usually write thank you notes on. I have more of those on the way as well. And then this is all of my stickers. And then this one has washi tape and then two packs of business cards. This is the chipboard. Those are Patreon um, rewards that I just need to finish packing up. Then I have my print paper. Then I have the little stickers I put on orders. Big envelopes. Extra chipboard. Um, this is another Patreon reward. Then the shipping labels that need to be cut and then there's a little packet of sticker paper. Then extra sleeves and then this is printer paper and tape and extra tape. And then on this side I just have stamps. But yeah, that's the setup for now. Those are patron awards that are already um, ready to go. I just need to put them in the mail. My uh, camera's up there. But I really like it so far. It's kind of perfect. And of course a magnet, a Pokemon magnet from my childhood. I just wanted to show you guys how it looks. Something funny.